Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame and Simmy Sugar. Listen, so I'm in the city, right? I'm in the city because one of our church members slash relatives, I think she low-key related to us, but anyway, she ended up calling my mama and was like, hey, some people had like a ridiculous surplus amount of sweet potatoes that they've been giving away over the last like three, four days and they still have a whole lot. And so we were like, okay. So I was in the middle of twisting my mama's hair. My daddy had already washed her hair. Like y'all don't know what he be doing, but her scalp, her hair was clean as a whistle. So anyway, I did everything I could to, to de detangle her hair some more and all this other stuff. Her mama has amazingly soft, gorgeous curls without really having to do much to it. My mama still, she don't be knowing. That the stuff she says she don't need to be saying. I keep telling her to stop saying it. She keep talking about her hair just, she got bad hair. I was like, you really don't. Like, anyway, I'm going to get her out of it. I don't know how, but it's going to happen. But anyway, y'all, so we went to this place. The location was like a couple of streets over from Alabama State University. So my daddy, yes, thank you, sir. Because I don't know who left that desk so I can scoot up. Thank you. So my daddy... my daddy and I we were uh, just gonna come up here and gather some for my aunts and other people like one of my aunts my aunt who has the uh, daughter who had the stroke she's like <sighs> kind of partially like um, paralyzed in one of her arms or something and then like my mom was like well she probably tired and it was a lot just for her to get up and go to church this morning because even though it's not a hot well it's not a cold day today it's cooler when you get up in the morning or whatever right so i'm like well you know of course i'm gonna go do this and then i'm gonna surprise her well we done got up to the place the people still sitting outside with like this big truckload of sweet potatoes and so my daddy behind me because we didn't know where it was all we knew was that it was off of a street that was up from ASU. So I was like, yeah, I turned my navigational system on. He just followed me all the way up here. Now, keep in mind, this take us 20-something, 30-something minutes until it, until I get to ASU. So we just spent 25 to 30 minutes driving one way. We get up here. We get out the car. I mean, the people just sitting out here, and I'm just like, okay. I get out the car with the bucket that I have for my aunt. And my daddy, he ain't get out. You know, he got out. And I was like, where your bucket at? So he was about to go back in there, and then the woman told us that they were sorry, but the potatoes that were left are going to be for the food bank. And I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. I was just confused as to why we were notified as if they still had an abundance to give to anybody, you know, that was going to come up. And like I said, we just had to drive all this way. Yo, my tank, like, my every time I leave the house, my needle move. Like, ain't nobody got <laughs> Like, I'm just like, girl. So anyway... I'm trying to get out of the community because I very rarely have ever had to go down that street. So at first I had my navigational system on and then I was like, no, nah, ASU should be right here to the left. So I looked and then I started seeing various things that even though it's new, I knew it was ASU. So I went over a couple of streets and I came out on Carmichael Road. Now, I've already said this before. And for those of y'all who are from here or who live in Montgomery, y'all know that I have told y'all about how I worked two jobs when I was at Alabama State University. One of them was on campus at Records and Registration, which is the registrar's office, the entire time I was there. And then the other one was Winn-Dixie. And the only reason why I stopped working at Winn-Dixie before I graduated was because there was a situation going on where I had this... It was like a cyst and it hurt so bad that I couldn't hardly walk or nothing. And it just kept growing and nothing we did made it go away at first. And so the last resort was for us to obtain this stuff called boil ease. And at the time it was really expensive. I don't know what it costs now, but anyway, got some boil ease and started putting it on there. And my mom was like, look, if it don't work, then you will have to get surgery because it was terrible now i've had another cousin who's 12 years 10 years older than me on my mama's side of the family that she's had one before and it wouldn't do anything and they had to remove it they had to surgically remove it 
So I was like, okay. But that was really the only reason why I quit, I quit working there because I love working at Winn Dixie, y'all. I was always like really, really fast. You have to be really fast when you work there. I'm tempted to go in here, but I don't want to. It's a lot of people out here. And like I said before, I don't like going in places. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to have to go in and everybody and their mama out here. Like, it's not too bad, but it's still a decent amount of people out here. Because a lot of people, when they got out of church and they, they come into the stove. Now, I want me some check drinks. I know I'm wrong, but if I'm going to be bad for a little while, I want me some check drinks. <laughs> like, I don't know if y'all know about what the check drinks be hitting for, but I want some check drinks. Like, if it's going to be bootleg or, or whatever you want to say, if it's not a Sprite or, you know, certain name brand type of stuff, that's the next best thing for us. Like, Fago and all that other stuff. Check drinks. <laughs> so, I'm like, oh, my gosh. But this is the thing. I already told y'all I had worked at Winn-Dixie. And like I was saying, the only reason why I stopped working there was because it, it became... It just got to the point where I couldn't hardly stand. I couldn't do nothing. And I'm still going to class. I still, I'm still pulling a full course load at the same time. And still working at records of registration. Now, it wasn't like it was harming me in a way where it was detrimental and, and, and going to mess up my grades. It's not like I couldn't concentrate. It wasn't nothing like that. It was just that situation. It was just putting a lot on me, and it wouldn't bust at first. And then, like, after I started using the boilies it actually burst and it started draining and I was like thank god because I thought I had to go under the knife it was bad but um I didn't want my grades to drop anyway and I was like yeah I needed to go ahead and you know stop that anyway so it is what it is and then I just only strictly worked at records and registration so it was cool but y'all I had said to myself well while I'm over here let me see if this Winn-Dixie is still here because I would be on the phone with my mama and them, and I'd be like, oh, what about this Winn-Dixie? Every, every time they mention Winn-Dixie, they say it closed. So I'm like, man, please don't do this. Please don't let the Winn-Dixie that I was working at be closed. And it's not. It's still open, y'all. Let me <laughs> let me show y'all what it look like. Let me show y'all what it's hidden for. Ow, over the ring. Low prices. Ah. That's our promise. That's our way. America's supermarket. Win Dixie every day. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm just saying, y'all don't understand. Like, I it, it just was what it was. And I know y'all probably like, girl, not a grocery store. Not you getting your life over a grocery store. But that was like the first, you know, real job that I had outside of me working at records and registration because I was there first and then I got the job at Winn Dixie. But I really loved working at Winn Dixie. I was the opening cashier. So I had to be there from 6 a.m. until what, two or something? And I was part time, but every now and again I did get to work. Um <laughs> I did get to work like more than what 32 and 36 hours. Man, one time, look, wait a minute. So <laughs> one time something happened at another location and they were short staffed. They asked me would I be willing to go over there. And I was like, sure. It was the one over in Clover, Cloverdale. Off of Norman Bridge and all that stuff. And um, yeah, I went over there. There used to be a Maxway over there. I'm not sure if it's still over there or not. More than likely it's gone. I don't know. But I went over there one time. And then one time they needed me again. And then I went to the one over there that's no longer in existence that was over there off of the Eastern Boulevard. That's some kind of oriental place now. And that's the first store that my daddy wanted to take me into into when we were uh when we were done at the storage place. But that's where I ended up getting me some organic uh coconut oil from and all that stuff, y'all. I, I don't know. It's just and it's stupid because it's like y'all have everything but the Win Dixie sign up there. What is the reason? Like, they literally had, what is it? The beef people on one side, and then Deli Bakery on the other side. But in the middle, they have they sign. And I'm just like, what is, what is going on? But anyway, they just be wanting to be lazy when it comes to some things. I don't know. It's, it's funny to me. But, y'all, I was like, please don't let my Win Dixie be gone. Like, this was a nice location. And to me, it, it still is. And they've upgraded it. I can tell. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared to walk in here. First of all, First of all, I'm in my feelings because I don't think I want to go in there because there's this guy who used to run the produce department 
who used to live in my mom's neighborhood in uh, Macedonia. And he has since passed away. When my mama told me this man passed away like a few years ago, y'all, y'all don't understand. That man has always been nice, always been sweet. He was fine for him to be older than me. Like that man had to have been older to be my dad. That man was fine as on the way. He was dark as on the way and fine. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I was like, no, like that told my nerves up. He was so nice. He was so sweet, but that might hurt my feelings if I walk up in there. I don't want to go in there. I'll go into the one on Mobile Highway before I go to that one. Now, I frequent that one a lot whenever I have been in town. I will go there. I stopped at that one the last time that I came. The last time I did go to a Windex, and that's the one that I went to. Um, So, yeah. But, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to share that with y'all because that was just... I really was like, please, because the other day, where was I at? Oh, there goes Sonic. Wait, let me stop. They didn't have no Sonic. So, the place I kept talking about the whole time when I was in Virginia with Sonic. And we used to go get like these like specific drinks. Nobody could do do it like Sonic. And they got rid of them. And I don't even understand. They had a brand new location. They had gotten a brand new new location when I first started living in this city. And they already had two other locations. And then all of a sudden, when I finally decided like a year, year and a half after we started living there, they just all disappeared, including the new one. And I was like, what was the reason? So then the closest one was 45 minutes away. And I'm just like, child, but I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go over there right now. If they open, I don't even see nobody over there. Is it even open still? I think it's just, I think it's just, well, I'm hoping that it's just looking barren. But I really used to love Sonic. Sonic was everything. Child, I told y'all there was a feeder. And I don't know if you know what a feeder is. There was a feeder that uh, attended Alabama State University who wanted to try to talk to me. He was older than me. Like, he wasn't much older, but I'm just saying he was older than me. He was from Arkansas. And, um, what was that man's name? I don't know. I can't think of his name in this moment. Normally, any other time I can think of his name. Anyway, he was trying to talk to me, right? So, he took me to Chick-fil-A. That was the second time in my life I had ever had Chick-fil-A. So, I'm like, oh, you finna feed me? And I'm a college student, too? Yeah, I'm finna go eat. But I didn't realize he was a feeder at the time. And so the first time I ever went to Chick-fil-A was when we were doing the tour of the Underground Railroad and we were in Michigan. And some and it was like skyscrapers everywhere. And then they were like, oh, well, we're not going to leave yet. I mean, if you want to go, go eat breakfast, you can go there, 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 there. And me and my friend, we ended up going to Chick-fil-A and it was in a nice way. It was crazy. I don't know. It was a crazy, like, I couldn't even believe that. I had always heard of it because y'all know Chick-fil-A, I think, originated in like Atlanta, Georgia or something like that. But I had never had it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we had one at the time in Montgomery, but I just never had it. So I was like, let me see what all the hype is about. Y'all, I, I, I typically don't eat when I'm traveling. Even if I'm not driving, I typically don't eat because I don't want to have to stop and have to use the bathroom. Or I want to hold out as long as possible. Well, I had like a biscuit. I had like the number one. So I had a biscuit, orange juice, and them, you know, tater tot things or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Hash browns. Y'all, I had that that morning before we left. I didn't eat for 48 hours. I was so full that I was good. I came home, went to sleep. My mama came, woke me up the other day. The next day was like, are you all right? I was like, yeah. Thought I needed something to eat. I was, I was like, mm, I'm good. Went back to sleep. I don't know what that was. I was not hungry. I didn't wake up to no hunger pains or none of that. But yeah, when this guy took me, it was my second time in all of life going to Chick Fil A. So he took me. Well, I took him because he didn't have a vehicle. Drove us to the location. To um, the location off of. It was off the boulevard, off McGee Road or somewhere. I can't think of the road. I don't know. If, I'm probably saying the wrong road, but it's off the boulevard, like off to itself. But you, you're on the boulevard and then you get off the boulevard. I don't know. I can't think of it. But it's like up from regions and um, not far from that particular Walmart that's off the boulevard, the bad Walmart, as people like to call it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we went to that location. Oh, the location, it has like a Arby's over there by it too or something. So we went to Arby's one day and then we went to that one day. So anyway... Like I said, I didn't know this man was a feeder. 
I got what I wanted, got them fries, the waffle fries. So this time, you know, it's lunch. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Because he over here suggesting places. Like, you know how most of us women, you know, stereotypically, we don't know what we want. I definitely didn't know because I was very shocked that somebody offered to pay for some food for me. Like, what? Oh, we can get on campus? Oh, okay. So he took me to get that. Then one day, <laughs> we went up in this uh, uh, Arby's. And this man was fine as on or whatever. And that man was fine that was taking my order. All the men that was up in there was fine. This dude, he wasn't ugly or nothing like that. But he was just like on like like he was like small in comparison to them. And so he felt threatened by them. And so he was over here trying to order for me. Like I had already said what I wanted. Despite the fact that I'm fat, I just don't care. I just don't care about um eating a whole lot or getting a whole lot so i got like a random meal and so i told him that was it he could tell old boy was kind of like flirting with what with my order or whatever when he was talking to me and he was like yeah add another order of fries to that i was like yeah i'm i'm, I'm good i don't need no more fries like i'm aware of how how the order is i already i ordered exactly what i wanted like i know you're paying for it but i i don't want nothing extra so you could tell he felt threatened the whole time. And then, like, while they waiting on the order and stuff to be done, the dudes was posted up looking at me. And like I said, they were fine. I was just like, Lord, why? The one time I come in this store, why, when I come in this restaurant, these fine folks up in here, and I'm with him. <laughs> and I mean, we weren't dating or nothing, but he just, he liked me. But that wasn't, I don't know. I don't know what he had going on in his mind. But I wasn't with him. So it don't matter what he think or wanted or whatever because we were not together. So, I'm about to head home to the gas station. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might go to um, Sonic. I'm gonna light and change too. Let me see. I'm gonna see. Is it open? I don't see nobody over there. They scared me. I think it's closed down. <gasps> Is it closed? What's going on? Uh, Y'all, I think it's closed. Oh. Oh, Sonic, why? Sonic closed. Oh no. Okay, now I done been out this road a million times. I don't know where I'm at though. <laughs> like I legit don't know what's going on. Um I'ma just drive it, ride it out and see where it land me. Cause I really don't know where I'm at right now. I really don't. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna find out together, y'all. But yeah, so he is fuming. Like we eating in the restaurant and the dudes posted up like they just like, oh, just looking at me. Like they want to sock me up like a biscuit, and it's like you know how when you feel somebody looking at you. Oh, okay, y'all. I'm about to be where Huntington College at. I still don't know where I'm at beyond that. I just know where I'm coming up at. Um, and so I was just like, sir, don't know. Oh, I know where I'm finna be at. Now, if I was going to my grandmama's house, which no longer exists, then that would make sense. I'm gonna get off the boulevard, should come up at some point, I guess, child. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. We're going to figure it out together, y'all. But anyway, so this dude is fuming. Y'all, it was a mess. But yeah, he fed me like two, three times. One of the times we brought the food back to campus. Y'all, this dude was trying to get in my pants. Like he was doing a lot in his life. And I would have definitely been somebody who he brought home to his mama. And his mama would have been like, this is the smallest woman I've ever seen you with. Because at the time, I was like a size, what, 22? And I'm a size 26, 28, 30, depending on how depressed I am and how crazy I'm eating at the time, y'all. Like, I was, I ain't really had no stomach at the time. Like, I, I started doing the most. I got real depressed and things were going on. But anyway, I was a lot smaller then. So, he was like, yeah, my mama would have looked at you and been like, dang, that's the smallest woman you would have ever brought up in here. I can't believe it. So, yeah, y'all. Uh, just in case you forgot, my ex that's from Huntsville, he was working at the police station on ASU's campus. That was his internship. And since we were still friends, because we had already had our relationship and everything, that had already happened by that time, if I'm not mistaken. And if not, it was going to happen. Anyway, we talking. He was like, yeah, because uh, I tell him everything. We were still like the best of friends. So, if he going through something or he going with somebody or whatever, he let me know what it's hitting for. I told him about old dude. I showed him pictures of what old dude looked like, all of that. So, he was like, uh, 
So one day he left me a message. I don't know where I was at the time, but he left me a message. He was like, um, I'm trying to figure out where you are. I remember you talking about this guy named whatever, whatever. I don't know why I can't think his name, y'all. And so he was like, we ended up looking him up in the database and some stuff is going on. Y'all, he had apparently, now this is what the dude told me. First of all, he got locked up. He ended up getting locked up. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I remember this. Oh. Um, but um, he ended up getting locked up. One day, according to him, he went for a walk because he was into being active. He went for a walk off ASU's campus and they, they got him, they picked him up while he was off campus, like he was up the street from campus. He had some opioids. He had some kind of prescription medication in his pocket. I don't know what was going on. I don't know. Anyway, oh my gosh, why can't I remember this? Like all of this is still familiar. Okay, y'all, the food shop. All this stuff was here before and it's tearing my nerves up. Like I'm about to be at the boulevard in a minute, but I don't remember, like, I don't remember. I don't like that. Oh, that's, oh, that's the street that I used to come off of and turn down. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get my mind right because I don't remember none of this. Um, oh my gosh, is this gonna be the boulevard? I think this leads to um, the way that we normally would go to um, uh, my grandmama's house and all that stuff in Macedonia. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's one of the ways that lead us to Macedonia. So I'm gonna hit the boulevard and head on back to the house. I'm not gonna get no gas today. So anyway, um, is this the way that I can be in or no? Yeah, I'm finna, get, I'm finna hit the interstate. I went to Seth Johnson, y'all. So if you're from here, what I'm referring to is um, the street that's leading straight up. Ooh, Lord. You're doing the most. Straight to uh, Seth Johnson. But now I'm finna get on it. Well, y'all take it too long. Now I'm getting on the boulevard. I'm finna head to the house. Somebody wanted to meet up with me today, but he ain't know I was out, so he'll be all right. So anyway, y'all, this dude got picked up. My bad. He got picked up by the police. Like, he actually went to jail, jail. He didn't end up in, like, custody on ASU's campus. It's not like they picked him up and was like, oh, y'all, this dude was stalking women on the campus and all this other stuff. I don't remember if he had forced himself on nobody or whatever, but my ex was contacting me because he remembered me saying that I had affiliation with the dude. And I told him, yeah, like, no, nah, I'm not with him. And I'm trying to call his phone because I'm like, no. Nah. After he left that message or was talking to me on the phone, however it went, I was in disbelief, like, no, nah, ain't no way. So I'm calling his room phone because he lived on the campus. He ain't answering the phone. He ain't answered the phone all weekend. So I'm like, well, dang. Like, he ain't got no reason to lie to me, even though he fumbled me. Like, ain't no reason for this man to lie to me. But I still want to know what's really going on. This is crazy to me. Child, he ends up calling me, like, a couple of days later. And he was like, hey, I know um, this might sound crazy and you hadn't heard from me and whatever. And, uh, y'all, he was trying to explain to me. And I was just like, yeah, I ain't got time for this. He ended up having to leave campus. Like, they booted him off the campus and everything. Like, I don't know if they had evidence. Um, but he never came at me sideways, tried to rape me or none of that. Like, whatever he had going on, and he wasn't doing none of that to me. So, he ended up leaving and going back to Arkansas. I don't know. I can't remember that boy's name. Any other time his name rolled right off my tongue. That's tearing my nerves up that I can't think of it. I might stop by this Dollar Tree. Give me some candy or something. I don't, I don't need it, but whatever. Um. So, it was just a crazy situation. I was just like, what? But yeah, we had talked for a good little while. Then we met because we both live. I mean, we both went to ASU. So, like, I've met, like, for me, people don't understand that internet dating and just chatting and all that stuff. I have been doing it since AOL dial up. It was nothing new to me. It was nothing that made me be like, oh no, I'm scared. Like, I, I was not scared to meet nobody off the internet. I really wasn't. I wasn't really scared of getting catfish like that. Like, I don't know. I, I was kind of fearless. I don't know what that's about, but I was. Um. Oh, Lord. Oh, you're doing the most. I'm over here thinking that somebody's actively having a fire, but he's just doing the most in his life. You don't know how to park. You 
irk. I feel like you irk my soul. Oh gosh. So anyway, I'm gonna back into a spot better than you park normally into a spot. But at least you ain't gonna be up on my car. Anyway, y'all, my bad. These people just get on. I just hate people that don't know how to, don't know how to park. Irks my soul. So, um, but yeah, he ended up having to go back to Arkansas. I don't know if he ended up facing charges. I don't know. I, I essentially feel like he just kind of fled <laughs> because he kind of had no choice. I don't know if he wanted to try to fight anything because he was there to go to school and it, his tuition had been paid and all that. Like, it was crazy. But yeah, y'all, um, had a nostalgia moment, man. I can't believe that that Wendy's is still there. One morning, early in the morning, I'm going to try my best to go. Even if it ends up being like when I, uh, even if it ends up being a situation where I end up, um, I might see if this dude is around. I don't know, because I'm tired. Oh, he might not get to see me no time soon. I'm trying to tell you. But, um, I don't know, y'all. It was just, I just didn't know if it was gone or not, that Winn-Dixie. And what else happened, y'all? But, yeah, I, I've had some times. I was just not scary when it came to that. I really should have been. I'm just not, it's like I'm scary, but I'm not, like, I'm not. I'm really actually kind of not, not a scary person. I'm kind of leery when it comes to certain situations that other people be like, well, dang, you scary about this? I'm like, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know. That, it just wasn't something that got to me. It wasn't something that made me be like, ooh, wait a minute. Like, no. So, um, and I know it should have. I knew I was wrong, and it is what it is. But this heifer parking next to me that can't park. Y'all, when she get out of her car, I'm going to show y'all. And she, and she, and she going to stand on this. She going to stand right on this parking spot. Because I parked right where I parked. I'm parked directly in the middle of mine. And she parked out. She, I'm just so me understanding. This dude looks sketchy. Like right now, situation like this, I'm looking at him like, why is he, why is he doing? He look like a crackhead. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Girl, I'm trying to figure out what you looking over at me for, sir. Yeah. I think he a crackhead for real. Like I ain't even trying to be funny. But um, he was looking weird from way across the way. Shit, did she go weird here? Yeah, y'all, look at this. I'm going to wait for him to go inside because he's doing the most. He looks like, I don't even want to go in here no more. I'm going to go to the house. Y'all, the men here have been doing the most ever since I stepped foot on Montgomery soil. Like, I swear to you on everything I love. Let me show y'all her um, parking space. Look at this. She actually, believe it or not, you might think she where she's supposed to be at, but she really ain't. She's super far away. And these parking spaces, they decent size. But if I was to go on the other side of the car, you'd be like, all right, this is over the line. <laughs> like, I don't be understanding that. And then, especially if you have a small car, I don't get it. So anyway, y'all, uh, I'm finna, I guess I'll still try to go in here and get me some candy or something, child. Then I'm gonna go to the house. I was gonna stop and get some gas. I need to, because I'm on a fourth of a tank. I don't play that. When I get to a fourth of a tank, that's when I get gas. So I might get some on the way to the house at this gas station I'm finna pass by. But other than that, mm -mm. Hey, how many of y'all that are from Montgomery that remember Flowers Bakery? I came the way that I'm going right now. And I saw it wasn't there the other day. I got in my feelings and I called my mom. I said, Mom, what happened to Flowers Bakery? She said, God, they been got rid of that. It was kind of like a discount little bakery. It had like little, like certain breads that were on sale but were still good 99% of the time some of the old bread it was like within like if you know how bread work it, it is what it is but they had very very fresh hot off the presses bread they had bread that was like the type of bread that you see in the normal stores and you have other bread that was like on the verge of meeting the expiration date and all that they had sometimes they would have like discount like cookies cakes pies and all that kind of stuff chips they had all kinds of little goodies and stuff and i missed that store because i looked over and i was like oh and then i was like wait <laughs> but anyway there's a lot of stuff that's changed around here y'all y'all thank y'all for tuning in y'all know i just be rambling on i just i don't know i gotta get you y'all i gotta have my navigation system on everywhere i don't know where i'm at i don't know what's going on i don't know i don't be knowing what nothing at 
Y'all, I was heading home. It's this back way I used to religiously go. Trot me road and all that stuff. Man, I had turned my navigational system on the whole way there. I didn't know what I was doing. But anyway, y'all, I'm gone. I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.